Oh, what's up? Greetings, brothers. I didn't see you there. Oh, you're all coming in now. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's just wait. We'll wait while everyone takes a sleep and sit down, take their seats, sit in the pew, whatever, you know. Just chill. <laughs> Have I got a treat for you today. Many years ago, one, one year ago, <laughs> I was listening to a Hammerhand video and I was quite inspired by it. So I uh, wrote it down and I was going to relate it in the form of a speech or something, but I never got around to doing that. Uh, it wasn't relevant. It ended up not being relevant, but I feel like it could be today. Maybe its relevance has come back one fold. I was uh, at work the day I wrote it down on like an envelope and a scrap of piece of paper. We'll get there. Here we go. This is in old Hammerhand's words, so when I'm speaking it, just imagine Hammerhand in your mind. His voice, not, not him. I have to be honest. I'm a little conflicted about where we are all headed. I'm sure that you probably heard. Oh. <clears throat> Take two. I have to be honest. I'm a little conflicted about where we are all headed. I'm sure that you probably heard some folks in the Manosphere Red Pill Kingdom, and they, they express doubt at where MGTOW is headed. I have to be honest with you. I have the same doubts. Perhaps they're not the same in the same line. They may not have anything to do with the same philosophical reasons. But let it be spoken to you where I'm headed with this. Where I'm concerned we're headed is a place called Chasing the Dragon. And that, I think, we all are chasing the high. I can't say that it doesn't concern me that there are so many people out there now in the... Out there now. Oh man, my writing was so bad. I rushed it. Ah, here we go. My concern, that doesn't, uh, I can't say that doesn't concern me, that there are so many people out there now that are taking the lead of folks and just roasting the shit out of other people for no good reason. Now let me stop you before you all get in on over me and just start saying, well, I'm a hand. I mean, they came in here, they dropped the acronym. They, they said all this shit about us and talking bad about MGTOW. How can we have that? And I can understand your feeling when you say that. Trust me. There's some holes in it now, so let's just bear with me, guys. Bear with me, brothers. I do get it. But what exactly are we here to do? There is one big question mark at the end of that. What are we here to do? We are here to educate and school people who don't give a shit about us. Or we are here to open the door for young men and older men that have been eviscerated by the family courts and divorce system. Shunned and shamed by all of the people around them because they didn't bend over when they were told to. I thought that's what we were doing, period. No, ifs and buts about that. The writing gets really little. All right. It's my job, as long as I can, as long as I am here, to try and put the perspective in line. Now, I, by am no means the leader when it comes to this. I don't want people to jump on the bandwagon and, and say, no, no, hey man, that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I want. I want to make sure that everyone is focused on the reasons we are here. A few days ago, 
uh, well, months, years now, our buddy, Hard Hidden House J, oh, I don't want to mention some names, this other dude, went on a little rant with a couple of his other buffoons on a live stream. That really went down on MGTOWs, incels. Okay, so what? I don't care. Doesn't affect me. Why does it bother you so badly? A lot of men are still very hurt, put off, and confused. No idea where they are headed. They see a lot of MGTOW and red pillars. Going off and addressing anyone who uses the MGTOW. Is that what MGTOW is about? Because if it is, I have to rethink my, uh, to my participation. This isn't me moving away from MGTOW. This is me moving away from drama. Nothing says I have to be part of this drama. That is exactly what I'm trying to get away from. All of these fools out here who want to talk shit and run their mouth. That want to make podcasts and put MGTOW in a place and you and I know it doesn't and shouldn't belong. Gives them ammunition of stuff like this. Because we already take the worst of this shit. The absolute worst of the MGTOW and the incels use it to broadly paint the rest of us. I think I messed up that bit, but I mean, look. I was riding around a fucking mailing window. Anyway, here we come. A little bit closer to the end. When in reality, 99.99% of all of us don't even resemble that person. When you guys get on that war band and in the war wagon and start rolling down the road. What is your motivation for doing so? Is it to teach someone a lesson? Be aware the type of lesson you're teaching. I see a lot of men out there we are call it, who are calling themselves MGTOW who are being baited into stupid and foolish conflicts. These people and their opinions don't mean anything. There, got that done. That was a long one. Thank you, Haman. Thank you. Your wise words will be noted. Thank you. Hey, MGTOW. Okay, this seems like a, a good time for a drink and a cold, calculated speech with sinister overtones. Cheers. A speech about politics, about order, about brotherhood, power. But speeches are for campaigning. Now is the time for action. Don't ever call us typical normies. We answer to nobody, no authority. I've got a message from all the brothers keeping MGTOW alive. From all those who believe in MGTOW. A message to all the trolls and infiltrators. You are outnumbered. Boom. Okay. Enough of that. I'd like all the MGTOW sitting down there around the world to look to their neighbors and grab the closest weapon grip near you and join me in prayer. We will pray that all the lost men will find MGTOW and achieve all of their dreams. Hey, MGTOW. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brothers, and all the other folk out there. Now, I've got some channels to shill today. Two very good channels. And I'll show them to you. Right now. Yeah, how do we get this shit? Can we turn it around? Yeah, no, there we go. Get rid of the music. Bam. This guy here, Douglas Vogue from the Die Hard Foundation. He's got knowledge for you. Let's see if I got an aim right. There we go.
because even if this world of ours is only one ever created, as Aristotle also thinks, even ours, he says, is in a way put to put to, uh, together through such and such. There's the idea that the Earth was the center of our solar system and maybe galaxy from Aristotle, which is really from Pisa. Having just a moment ago given you an account of the Tuni mathematical foreknowledge of the reversal of the sun, you got that? Of the reversal of the sun of which Aristotle is a witness. The ancients knew, well, the sun didn't reverse, the earth did around it. They knew that the earth stopped its rotation and went in the other direction during the cataclysm. Now, obviously, Aristotle wasn't when this was written, 10,000 years old, to see this thing. So, this is obviously false, but they're right about the polar reversal. But it's not the sun that reversed, it was us. Uh, okay. Did you get that? Hold on, I thought I paused him, but he's still going on. Anyway, that old cunt's a good dude. Douglas Vode, should have looked him up. Die Hard Foundation. Next, we were talking about um, meditation the other day. I got some news for you, buddies. And it's sort of related to that. Have a look. This ubiquitous phenomenon does not seem to have been noticed by herdsmen, ranchers, or hunters. Other species that seem sensitive to Earth's magnetic field include frogs, lobsters, snails, and perhaps most intriguingly of all, humans. While a human magnetic sense has long been a subject of interest and investigation, the most powerful scientific evidence to date came in 2019 with the publication of the paper, Transduction of the Geomagnetic Field as Evidence from Alpha Band Activity in the Human Brain. In the experiment, conducted by a team of Caltech scientists, 34 subjects sat in an aluminum box, which shielded them from electromagnetic noise. The box was lined with coils through which electric currents flowed, and the investigators created a magnetic field which sloped downward, similar to the geomagnetic field at the mid-latitudes of the northern hemisphere. They then rotated the field, producing a measurable change in the brain activity of nearly one-third of the study's participants. In an article in Science Magazine, Biologist Margaret Ahmad states of the findings, I'm not surprised there's an effect. There's something in a cell that is different in the presence of a magnetic field. Yeah, anyway, they go on and on. It's really good shit. You're not going to convince magnetic fields affect your mind. It's been a long video. Everyone who's here, you fucking good cunts. I'll quickly show you the words for those dudes in case you want to look it up for five seconds, starting now. Sit on it. Boom. That, that's long enough. I'm gonna finish this bear, and you guys get the fuck out of here and do something. Shinobi one out. Trust no one, believe nothing, question everything. Whoop,